That weather, and this is what I'm expecting, definitely some shower activity. I've noticed that the barometer is dropping off. Look at the pressure. Pressure is just falling 29.86. Uh, we've got southeasterly winds at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. It's breezy and it's really warm for this time of the year. It's kind of mild out there at 65, but our normal high should be in the low to mid 60s. We're already there. You can see the showers developing just pretty much light shower activity. It's kind of widespread, and if you're not seeing a shower, chances are you're seeing a little bit of a, a drizzle to go along with the cloud cover this morning. Temperatures in the mid 60s, 65, Floresville 66, lower 60s in the hill country, and down to the south, it's closer to 70, around Beeville 71. George West is in the upper 60s, coming in at about 60. 68 degrees. We've got a surface area of low pressure that's developing or deepening with a cold frontal boundary. That's why our pressures are dropping. And I want you to notice these lines. These are the isobars. The closer those lines are, the faster the wind. And so it is going to be a breezy day into this area of low pressure out to the west. It is cooler behind it. Okay, that's the surface map. Look what's happening above. So we've got a lot of warmth. We've got a lot of humidity out of the Gulf of Mexico. And as this upper level system, which is basically a cold pocket of air aloft, as it moves closer to us, it's going to make for a very unstable atmosphere. Plus, this system is kind of taking on a little bit more of a negative tilt. And basically what that is going to do is it's going to really enhance the lift later on tonight as that system gets closer to us. So I've asked the computer, I said, computer, Tell me where we're going to have the best combination of wind energy and also instability. And it's pretty much area wide, but there are going to be some limiting factors. I think one of the limiting factors is most of the lift with this system will be off to the north. That's where the real punch in the atmosphere is going to be. Plus, this time of the year is not very conducive for severe weather, especially at night. Now, having said all that, I still think there's an enhanced risk for severe storms, basically from Fredericksburg to San Antonio north and eastward. Also a slight risk. And what kind of storms am I talking about? Well, I think large hail is definitely a possibility, maybe as large as baseballs. I think if we see a line of thunderstorms come through, winds could gust up to 60 to 70 miles per hour. And also, I cannot rule out a few tornadoes. So really have to watch it this evening very closely. Here's the way it'll come together. Chance for showers this morning. High this afternoon will be in the lower 70s. Here comes the frontal boundary and these thunderstorms that develop right along this frontal boundary will be quite intense and especially right through here. Notice the time about midnight from Kendall County over to Guadalupe County north and eastward could see very intense winds again, maybe as high as 60 to 70 miles per hour if those thunderstorms can develop and grow large enough, but we'll be watching it tonight. All right, 73 degrees will be the high today. Good chance of rain tomorrow, partly cloudy, mostly sunny on Friday, and then it turns chilly over the weekend with northeasterly winds temperatures in the 40s all weekend long. Monday also will be chilly and wet. Let's take a look at the picture.